Hey guys, fancy seeing you here. Look at this, a little reunion. Oh my god. Oh, we got ready yeah. Did you oh this thing's on? Oh. Wait, are we are we rolling? Are we? Are we rolling? Joe, are we rolling? <laughs> okay. Oh, um, that's um, oh, oh, that was funny. Take me out. No. Yeah, okay good. well thank you guys laughing. thank you so much for joining us wow. um this is the making of baby Are boy we rolling i mean <laughs> baby no, boy not baby boy sorry <laughs> sorry to disappoint this is not baby boy, coming baby boy. Uh, God. Oh, that um, is not God. yet what <laughs> not yet Nothing? not yet <laughs> no but um, so today we have with us um again our leading lady Katie, we have our favorite bromance, you know, Steve and Diego. We got those two lads here. And I'm we have, Brad Scott. <laughs> we have um, <laughs> Mr. Joe San Augustine with us today, and our VP Robin Robin Epstein. We love that. Um, and then Sam I might be moderating. related to someone. <laughs> Who? Well, no, that's this episode, right? Yeah, this, this is the episode. episode. Yeah. Okay, this yeah. is the infamous yeah. episode. And oh, I'm your God. host, and your moderator, God. Maria. <laughs> so today we're going to get into episode two. So tell me, who um, was writing episode two and what was the premise for that episode? What kind of inspired it? Gosh, who I don't else know where Diego is. Show. On top of he's he's above me on my screen. Wherever, so, yeah, it's so so wherever Diego is on this. This is very much my episode because like when we were thinking about the idea of mockumentary, like like a few days after the idea was proposed, I was like, oh, I thought of this title because sometimes writing wise, if you think of a title, you can kind of just write off that, mm. and like it's you know it's it's kind of just a fun thing to do. But I thought of the thing, the title sibling rivalry because katie and i are like kind of like siblings and like we're kind of like a big ktv family and i was like oh sibling rivalry you could do something about that and, and so i, like, I... Oh, go ahead no you go i didn't have a point say, to make this this was a way of of merging m my idea and his idea because i really wanted the studio fights like i wanted everyone to be fighting about their shows oh, or whatever I wanted to and diego wanted everyone to be fighting right at it so this was like our meet in the middle. Um, I yeah. think I, it was the same thing as episode one where like Katie had a bunch of different scenes written down and like I gave it structure, but this is very much like this is the episode I did the most on. I feel like I wrote the most jokes. If you like watch it, it sounds like my writing. Like yes. there's the part with like the, it's like, oh, like he, his writing is like a slug because it's like slow and grimy or oh something. Oh my God. And, yeah. and that's like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Joe might be the boss man around here, but that guy has ideas of a shellless snail. You know what that means? Cause he thinks like a slug and he's slimy. I'm over here trying my best and that just keeps proposing these, how do I say, slug? Like ideas, it's it's like she's purposely trying to ruin our chances. I don't know what to do. It's an awful line, but it's such a me line. And there's a bunch yeah. of lines in here that are me. I had to deliver that line. So, I just remember. Let's get, like, that's we'll cross yeah. Like writing wise too. Episode two, even though I I like said before about episode episode one was like really hard, like to get the ball rolling. Episode two for me writing wise, I got really frustrated with it. I wrote so much, and then I was like you know what, like, I don't even care what you do with it. Just, just take it away from me. Like, I'm done writing this. Like, I'm so done with this episode. I'm like, I'm done with it. And, and I was like, uh, finally, you know? <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, like, Tom usually I'll go out back. Of work at eight. Okay. So usually I'll go back. That'll probably be too late, but I'll go back and, um, you know, like edit stuff and try to make sure that they're like in character and things like that. And for this, I was like, I was just really done with it. When I finished writing, I was like, no, 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 I'm completely done. I feel like for episode one, Diego would write some stuff and then he was like, how does this sound or whatever? And for this one, I was like, he, he <laughs> took it and just like went with it. And I was, I was like, I don't even care. And Joe was like, this is such a Diego line. Like, why am I saying this? This is not me. Like, that's not my character. That's Diego's. And I was like, I'm done. Right. Like I, no, but there's some, there's I, some classic lines in here. I mean, they're, they're like Joe, like, 
just like stepping up. Well, the, the slug one specifically, Joe was like, yeah, the slug right. one was just bad, right? That the slug one, like I, I wrote everything else, and then it's like, well, continuity wise, like this has to be a scene, and All I'm right. like, well, what would he say? You know, I like the line. The um, it's like, oh, like why do like oh why can't we switch groups? And then Joe with like a wry smile. Plot Plot purposes. Purposes. That is my it, yeah. That was good. No one is changing partners. Why not? Why not? Plot purposes. That is my favorite line of this episode. My yeah. favorite line was when Katie's saying, "How are you so skinny with no definition?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, why I yada? Why I yada? What? You think you're gonna beat me up with those Play-Doh arms? How are you so skinny with no definition? Yeah. Oh, look at me now. <laughs> look at me now. I would Honestly, say no though, definition. I would say though, you know, I gotta give Diego credit where credit is due. There or Katie, I really don't know, but there are a lot of lines in this episode that I would have to say are very like iconic. Not like, good writing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I like you you wouldn't know good writing if it slapped you in the face. Writing is the main thing I do here. Not good writing. I feel like it's, it's very um like the humor behind it it's not like in your face or you're dying to laugh here it's more like subtle mm -hmm. humor and like i respect and i really actually like this episode for i think um, another I a thing that inspired that like a reason why there's a lot that of stuff like that is because like i wrote this or like my writing part of it was day of two hours before filming yeah. So I was like, oh, we have to get this done. And so I didn't like like the slug one. I didn't have time to think of a metaphor. So I kind of just wrote whatever. And sometimes in writing, if the be the first thing you think of is the best thing you think of. Uh, and so there's a lot of cases of, of that in this. And two, like, bef so before Are We Rolling, I had no experience writing comedy at all. And I still, I would say that that's like where Diego really like picks up my slack is that like, I'll have lines and like I'll tweak Diego's words to make like make it like punch sometimes. But for the most part, like a lot of that, those like those comedic stuff is a lot of like Diego taking my idea and making it funnier. And and I feel like that really came through in this episode for sure, especially because I was just so frustrated with it. There were, there were like no comedic feelings for me with this episode. I love the way the episode turned out. I love the idea of it. And I. I actually really enjoyed filming. I feel like it was a really stressful day. We filmed everything in it one was day for this. Like ten hours yeah. of just like Ooh, Katie and I next yeah. to each other figuring stuff out. But I was just like so done with it at, at that point that I was just kind of like tired of, of this episode. And which is when it's really nice to have like a co writer. But speaking of like lines and stuff, so what were there any other lines that like you know, kind of spoke out to anybody? Oh um, I love again. I love I, I, I don't, don't know remember. if I Oh, you don't remember? I don't remember because we get the script the day of, which yeah. could change, really. I don't remember yeah, yeah, it if I came up with the idea or Katie did, but one of us did. But the premise that, like, oh, what do you think about this idea? Like, cat dog. Have you ever heard of cat dog? So, what do you think about this? The, like, the dog's just a cat. Cut her. I barely even know her. This is the stupidest thing I've ever read. That was <laughs> the like, fact that, was <laughs> so, that we both, that both of our teams do the exact same idea. I'm wondering why you guys turned in two skits that were pretty much the exact same thing. What? what? Yeah, Robin and Joe, your skit was pretty much the same thing as Katie and Diego. How, how's that even possible? How did they come up with a skit remotely similar to a detective duo of a cat with a bum knee and a monocle and a dog with a top hat? Doesn't even make any sense, man. <laughs> well, let's see here. A dog and cat cop duo, cat with a top hat and dog with bum knee and monocle. How in the world? How did you guys just know that? Why would a dog even have a bum knee? No, 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 I thought that was so, really funny. I was writing Joe's line, and I knew that the the end of that scene was going to be Joe turning to Robin and saying, "What what about this? Whatever the idea was." And I I just I was like, "What would Joe say?" And I was like, "Joe would ask about cat dog. Like Joe would just mention like some something that like wh why would you even be thinking about that right now?" So I did uh we did I did cat dog, and then we were talking about. Oh, what, right. That's their idea. What are we going to do for ours? And I was like, what Downtown. if they have the same idea? They've got to have, or like, 
it's, you know, like the same pitch. So I think the scene that we cut from, so we ended up cutting a scene from episode two um, because of just time and stuff. But in that scene, Steven comes in to the conference room that Diego and I are in. And the ending line of that scene is Diego saying, have you heard of cat or like, what do you think about the idea of cat dog? So then you were going to have that, like you would know ahead of time that they both had pitched this idea of cat dog. And then, but the, I, I like the way we have it anyways. That was something that I was like, how funny would that be if they wrote the same thing? So stupid. So stupid. a lot of the best like premises, you just have to like sit back. And if you look at it seriously, you just think that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. But that's what makes it so funny. I actually like um, Taha's final scene where the dog dies. So my mom, I gotta tell her about this. Hey mom. Uh, yeah, hold on uh, real quick though. Um, I just won this crazy contest for my story. The neighbor didn't see him crossing the street. All right, all right, Mama, I'll call, I'll call you back. All right. My dog just got ran over. <laughs> oh, that one's <laughs> awesome. That was a Taha. Idea. That's it, completely that Taha. Taha. Completely yeah, that was awesome. Improv. That that I actually wasn't even sure. We did two takes of that. One with the original, which is everything you see. And then, then that's it. And then Taha did that one of his dog. And I was like, we'll see. We'll decide if we're going to put it in or not. And then in post, I was like, we're keeping this. This is good. That's uh, so I'm funny. Gonna, gonna and we also had like a new set of characters, a little, well, one new character. We had Brad come in. Brad was yeah. introduced. Not really a new mix. character. He was in episode one. <laughs> He had a feature. Was he actually was he in episode, episode one? Yeah, he was in the background oh, yeah. of episode one while right, yeah, 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 right. everybody yeah. was pretending to be right. like, did the oh, best yeah, wait, wait, wait. a gripe I have with Brad's like because Brad's the code open in episode two. Like the original thing that we wrote is that he drops these papers and like he scrambles to pick it up, and then like when he picks it up, there's just a picture of like of Will. And like and the way, like, I don't know who directed that part. I think it was Katie. Katie, I'm mad that you didn't zoom in. And he's like, that's nothing. You know, like, that could have you know, landed I harder. let him do it because he was he was getting time to go. He was, like, Brad was amazing because he, when we started doing Are We Rolling, I had come to him and said, do you want a role? And he was like, I will do whatever you want me to do, but I just don't have a lot of time. And I was like, you know what? I won't write you in or whatever. And then in this scene, in this episode, as soon as that we figured out the plot, I knew really quickly that I wanted Brad to be the president, and like I wanted to like Brad to be there. Oh God, so he was the president I was at the time. He, he was the president. So. Who's the president what? now? Oh yeah. So yeah, he was the president. <laughs> at the time. Wow. So uh, wow. I knew yeah. I wanted I wanted yeah. him there, and then what really happened is I didn't want to redirect. I I didn't want to be like. Okay, hey, that was a good trip, but can you do that um, a little bit better this time? But like, let me like, I was like, no, 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 let's just get this done. Maybe get it flat out. on your face that that make it. it funny. He could have got a headshot came, of Will. He came yeah. to campus that day specifically to film, so um, oh, I just I didn't know yeah, that. yeah, yeah, he was helping out. Like, oh, yeah, he was just, off he, days. so he was he was just there as a favor to me, um, and I was like, I'm gonna make this as easy because I can be troublesome to work with. So I was like, I'm gonna make this as easy for him as possible. So I just like the funniest person in this episode not gonna lie i there's I, nothing I better that. when he's like about the people leaving and stuff yeah. that was honestly and what right kind of stole the show for me yeah mm -hmm. and it's just so funny how he just did not like care to know any of his lines though <laughs> yeah he, like it's like, obvious guys he's looking <laughs> on his phone so guys so what are we you know? I feel like he really tried to make it not obvious that his phone is on there. And it's like an obvious glare. What was like your favorite behind the scenes moment? Because there was a lot of little <laughs> mistakes that happened. That, like, oh, people I just don't this. know. Um... <laughs> I like it when Diego's looking for something to wear. So he just wears my jacket. No, yeah. Like anybody mm -hmm. that, that was cute. Like, that like, was cute. That was like, oh, oh, oh. What about, smells oh. like him too. There was a lot of people wearing other people's clothes for this episode. Yeah. Uh, man, one one of my favorite times. It was the last scene we were filming, and like, it it was when Brad was like, uh, it was the when we were when Brad was uh, talking about where did you go. 
Katie, no. Sorry, sorry. I'm having technical difficulties. Katie, I'm just trying no. to make them. Anyway. I'm still uh, here. So Brad was talking about, was asking why we submitted the same exact uh, skit idea, except Taha. And uh, Diego could just not get this line. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the line is, line. It got to the line is like, Taha oh. was yelling at him. It was like, what was it? It was, uh. It was, it was the, uh, how do you get a, um. How do you get a dog with a top hat and a and a and a monocle and a cat with a bum knee? How do they come up with this get even remotely similar to a detective duo of a cat with a monocle and a top hat? The, the bum knee. And he kept flipping it, with which is when knee. you flip it, is their pitch. Is he kept pitch. saying, "Yeah, their idea." Um, and I kept. I wrote for, that too. Those who don't uh, know, and that's the worst part. You, we, it, well, you didn't even write it. I think you came up Did with it on the spot. Did you write it? No, no, no. You no. came up with it on the spot. Because we're all mm -hmm. just yelling. We're all like, oh, we should just yell things. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe he did. He come did. Up with that on the spot. Did he? You yeah. know, I'm pretty sure it was on the spot line. Because yeah. it was like, right. oh, we're all gonna we're all going to fight here. That was like the direction. Like, we're all going to fight here, then Brad's going to break it up. But um, Brad always breaking up our fights. Yeah. Good president. So, yeah, so he was. You came up with it on the spot, and then we kept refilming. Probably the best person I've ever had. You want to say that? You want to say that again? Behind the scenes moment. I remember like that day, the day after I had like a test that had like a pretty big like psychology test, which is something that like you know, like we're still college students at the end of the day, like we still have to focus on these things. Yes, got a big, pretty big psychology test. I had to finish a project for another class. Like I had like a bunch of stuff to do. I had to like finish writing for midday. And like, and so during the time, like these little quirky things that like kind of like halted filming, like it was at the time it was getting on my nerves, you know? Cause I'm like, oh God. But I think in hindsight, I think it was really funny when Sam just came in with lunch. <laughs> she, she didn't even check to see who was inside. She didn't even check to see if there's any cameras. I'm just, Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Middle the of the tape. Everyone is going to kill Taha called that. Like, Everyone. Yeah. Taha's like, Taha oh, I can't wait until Sam gets here ready to eat. And she, and that's exactly. She, Penny she pod, does that the so. day before when we were filming Redemption. Yeah. She does that every single time we film. And at no, the no, time, no. I remember just being so annoyed. I'm like, let me go home, please. No. But in hindsight, I was like, that's, that's so funny. Funny, that's funny. That's one of the funniest thing. things. No, I think you said something about me talking. Like, yes. Oh, yeah. Maria Literally talking. Oh, yeah. Every, yeah. every single thing. She's like, so how you been? How's the family? Maria, shut up. Maria, shut up. Yeah, Maria. We'll talk about Do it again. You have to come in again. Hey, Maria, shut up. <laughs> oh, my God. Maria, shut up. <laughs> This is just like hate Maria Day. Maria, shut up. Maria, it's 8 o'clock and I'm still on campus. Maria, <laughs> right. I haven't shut up. two minutes ago. <laughs> and then yeah. there's the whole mic situation. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Mic situation. Oh. I was so frustrated. No, it's not in the shot. Oh my god. No, it, yeah, so there's there's a scene and it's uh, Robin and, um, what's your name? Joe who are sitting there and the oh. mic we have the mic on there but for continuity purposes you're not supposed to see the mic so i under like the table went to go and place the mic up there you are so you not under see the it. table my god no 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 but i no i was off camera but someone said oh or someone made a noise and i was like oh no i'm in scene and they're like no you weren't in the scene first off we were going to use special effects to make it look that way it's in there <laughs> no, I was no. like, just let it it's go. It's not. Oh. oh. So in, I, I, uh, and then I couldn't keep the just... face straight after that because that, that was so funny. I just remember being like, it? Katie, no. Because it was just, it was just a whole bunch of those things happening consecutively. Because like, it's, and me, it's me screaming, and then Kitty is on uh, in shot. Then she, oh no, and no, I was like, never in no, shot. That Maria, was the shut thing. up. If I, like crawling on my knees to not be in shot. Someone made a I couldn't keep a straight face. First off, we were gonna use some. <laughs> First off, we were gonna use some special effects when you look that way. And you seriously don't like cat pop? Wow. Okay.
<laughs> I am hurt. <laughs> and I was like, oh crap, I'm in shot. And they were like, no, you're not you're in not. shot. And I was like, yeah. and I actually kept like a straight face for that shot too. And I know, that was the bad thing too. After, oh, like, and uh, leading up to that was me yelling at people to get out of the shot <laughs> and to shut up. And then yeah. like almost immediately I ruined the scene. So. Yeah, that was so I ironic. think by the Immediate time it was karma. Joe's and I seen, we filmed those, I'm pretty sure we filmed those, like, towards the end. Towards together. the end. Yeah. And, like, by that, we were all, like, just out of it. Tired. And I felt like that was the part, like, I think Sam came in, maybe around the part Maria was talking. I was uh, so bullied that day. <laughs> like, yeah. Was so Deservingly so. <laughs> I was, I was saying some ass. random stuff that day. <laughs> Probably the yeah. most frustrating day of filming and like the best all together. We had just such a great crew. Jaden was a cameraman. And uh, I love I, Jayden. Jayden, when Jaden's around, it's always a good time. Jaden is around. One of my favorite people. Yeah. If, if Jaden and Chris are cameramen, it's just going to be a good. I don't think Chris was yeah. cameraman, was he? I would, no, he wasn't. But no, if no, he no, was, no. it would have been infinitely um, better. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Jaden's just one of my favorite people to be around. He's just hilarious. So just having him around always like makes things fun. What was like everyone's favorite scene that like came out of this? Definitely, definitely our scene where it's like Katie's confessional and the door is just wide open. Hey, crow's feet. The door's been over this whole time. I heard everything you said. I'm like, hey, idiot. Hey, fart face. <laughs> you know? That's probably and it's, like, one of my favorites uh, to film and, and to watch. And it to took us, and to watch. I just love that. It took us so many tries to get it. It took because we're like we're face to face as close as possible and like one of the big things that like i wanted to do for that scene was i just wanted to have this like this, this, I lose this mad time. face <laughs> which is me as hard as i can making that face and just just katie's like and together we just couldn't keep it in it was the funniest I, yeah, thing because i would lose it every time he did that and then he would lose it from me losing it and then we'll just merge together huh? we'll just throw it together huh? how does that sound <laughs> fine by me so like in we ended up keeping it but that is me i was like i was kind of frustrated with it because i was like um i don't know if it fits like i'm laughing in that scene and I, everyone was like, no, no, it, it actually works. It, you know, like the way that you laugh makes it work or whatever. But that was like a real, like me trying to keep it together. Mm -hmm. No, That's I love that good. laugh. I love it. It's like such a nice little touch. My, oh my God, my camera ran out of battery that day. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That was a big thing. Yeah. So much happened. We were, yeah. It was just like, we had finished writing. We had filmed like two things. Joe's camera runs out of battery and all, like no one can get a camera. Didn't and we use like seven Like I said, cameras? Brad was coming to, to campus and I messaged him and I think he was like already on his way. And he was like, do I need to turn around? And I was like, no, just get like you get, get here. We'll find another way to get a camera. And it was like literally every person we asked was either like not on campus, not going to be there in time. Or it was just like one thing after another. We got access to someone else's camera for like, an hour and shout out to Matt. Yeah, Matt. Yeah, it was Matt. Shout out to Matt. And, yeah, shout out to Matt. And he walked in and he was like, um, we we all we're like in the middle of a scene and we we're like, Do you need your camera back? And he was like, Yeah. And I was like, Can we please finish this scene? And he was like, Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I just remember being like, Oh my gosh, what are we gonna do after this? And then uh, Maria showed we up. We eventually right? got Maria's camera. I took yeah, Maria showed up. in class, and what we didn't realize was I guess with her, like you can't plug oh, in yeah. for the sound. So we plugged it in and we're doing it. And then she comes an hour later and she's like, None that did not pick up sounds. You got like nothing. That's so right. It. it hurt me physically to have to say it. Like I walked in, I see Jaden holding the mic on top of the camera and I go, oh, I was like, oh, no. Then we had to reshoot. And then so during our reshoot, she kept talking. So it was yes. just. I was in the hallway. I was minding my business. And we could still hear you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was my, I was holding my, the mic. I was, I was being well, the so operator. Funny. At one point, you were like off bothering someone else, and I bother. Guess, like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't use the term bother. I would. Well, from apparently from what I'm hearing, but like you were off. I guess helping at run else or whatever, and I wasn't around. And I then I was in 440, and you guys were filming something in the hallway, and we were filming something. And I said, 
oh, hold on, I can hear someone. And someone immediately goes, if it's Maria, I swear. <laughs> and I was I like, I guess Maria's been talking I might have said that. It could have been Taha because Taha kept opening the door and going like this at me. Like, oh, that me, like, might... oh my god, it would have been either so... me or Taha because that's something I would say and, and I, that's something Taha would say. It was frustrating um, in the moment, but also it was still a lot of fun in the moment and then in hindsight it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was all day filming on that. Like, everyone was trying to get their episode for their show filmed that day. It was insane. Not to mention, we're, like, students also. And we're, like, right. we're on like class. Right, we're, like, between classes. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we are. So it's students. like I went straight from class to filming to class to filming. Yeah. Was that the day that you – one of the days that we were filming, you guys had a test. Yeah. But on the when... day we were filming. Was it that, that was the day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what no, a crazy Tom's day! Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, he just had a lot to do this episode because, like, he actually, we actually got to like see how much everyone really didn't like him. Yeah, because like, but in in this episode, I was just like, "Smell you later, bye." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I just think like my character or just doesn't know who he is. I yeah, think, yeah. Oh my god, but, um, about and, character. Yeah, I was I gonna like, say, let's talk about why you put necessarily like Joe and Robin together, and then you put yourself and Diego together, and then Steve was kind of just like the odd man out of this equation. My my thinking was what's gonna cause trouble. And it was already kind of established that DA or like Diego and I fight. Like that's like the first thing you see in the show is us. Fighting over the that's game. what that's what you see when you walk into 440 regularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. you see get us, to, yeah. Get you there. see us at blows. Yeah, but in the show too, like that's the first thing you see is Diego interrupting me. So wait, wait, wait. is this like a confession I, or something? Wait, was this like supposed to be like a confessional? Yes, we're doing confessions. Oh, oh, is it? Move, move. I want to. Diego. Hi. So I think I think we knew that we were gonna have the two of us. And so then it was like, well, okay, so who's next? Who do we have next? Originally, I, yeah. originally we we're going to have another team. It was going to be Maria and Joy were going to be in the episode. Right. And we're like, all right, we'll pair them because they're like, oh, they're they're a pair. Because like they're going to have the confessional together or whatever. And a lot of the relationships in the show itself is because we're all just playing ourselves uh, at an extent. So we're like, oh, in real life, what are some pairings? And like, obviously, Kate and I are pairing. And like in 440, like Robin and Joe always like go back and forth and quip. So like, yeah, that's kind of funny. No, and it's also no, like by don't. default. To Robin and Steven. Never seen that. Like and then well, Steven Robin like Robin quips with everyone. Quips with everyone. Robin's yeah. got good. Robin's so witty that you just like you always have a good comeback. You always have that a is yeah. true. Very, very good yeah. repertoire. So like really, Robin on. could have been paired with anyone, and it would have worked. And it would have worked. Um, and it's the thing it of like, like, oh, to have Steven have conflict, it's like, oh, like me and him have to be at blows, so he has to be by himself. But it's not in his character to be with anyone else. So like, oh, that's why he's alone. Yeah. And Taha is just in his character to be alone. It's like, oh, so by default, kind of Robin and but, Joe, but they I also mean, have that relationship. I think that was the, the other thing is when we were looking at it, we were like, okay, well, who's going to be with Taha? And I was like, well, if we're together, then we can put Steven with Taha. And then we were like, obviously, neither of them are going are gonna to do that. Taha is going to end up being alone. And so that was the other thing, too, is like, who else is going to be alone? And it was, like, not really in character for, like, we did, I think we did have the idea of having Joe be alone because, it was, I, like, he's a boss. So, it's, like, we could see him doing that. But then it was, like, no, like, he let's have him in there. And I think. Yeah, why was I in the part of that? I episode? think we had. Um... <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you got a point. <laughs> kind of a plot hole. <laughs> why was I there? Steven wasn't going to be there the day that we originally were planning to film was like one of the days you weren't on campus. I feel like even like, like my character is such a douche that he would kind of do that in general. Okay. But like, maybe I, I don't that know was this guy. It. Also to set guy. up, to set up episode star. three, you know, with all that conflict, uh, yeah, so, you yeah. know, there had to be like a resolution to like, right. You know, the party. We totally and planned stuff. that ahead. That, I mean, yeah. As you will see in the next episode of the <laughs> series. And then, yeah. Well, in, in well, like we one of our original ideas, uh, for sibling like sibling rivalry or whatever, it was like it was gonna be me versus Katie, uh, right. and so I think in in that version it was gonna be me paired with Steven, 
Oh, uh, I think you're right. Remember well, that, yeah, right? Like it was gonna yeah, be different, yeah, yeah, yeah. Different shows against clashing against each other too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, yeah, right, right, right. But it's gonna be me and Steven, like we're gonna be the writing partners. Yeah. Uh and I don't know how we got it to so where like me and Katie, like this is so long ago at yeah. this point. Oh, in my know, memory. Like, it, was, last year. it was who are we gonna who are we gonna um who's gonna be fighting? And it was like, well, if it's sibling rivalry, which was like a, a episode title at the time then it was like obviously we're going to be fighting yeah. so then when we came up with the idea of the like writing team, competition yeah of like you're forced to, to to be with this person it was like well if we're fighting about it then like we have that to makes team. sense that makes sense yeah. yeah and then with joe's thing that's why um the, the reason joe's a part of it is because brad came up with the teams mm-hmm so it was like Brad was just like. So yeah, it kind of makes it seem around. like. It makes it seem that like Brad is kind of like the big boss here. Right, but he's just the president. Yeah. But he's just the president. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm the actual one that's actually getting paid. Right. Yeah. Maria's character <laughs> so next sweet. season, nothing like that. Maria's nothing definitely like going to be one of. He's going to be one of us, I think. One of. Wow. Us. One one of no, us. The There's no going to be overlying big boss character next Except season. Me. Or really? is there? All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us in the cast of Are We Rolling? Um, This has been the making of Are We Rolling? And that is it. So if anyone wants any closing remarks to talk about the episode, go for it. Forever now, hold your peace. The episode two, best episode. And I'm heavily biased in that. (laughs) But (laughs) but that's my ending remark. Stressful, but 100% worth it, and a lot of great memories to come out of Aww. episode two. Yeah, I, I have to say, for me, st- most stressful, but also probably one of the most fun. Joe, yeah, that was Steve. cool. That was cool. <laughs> okay. She's like, it happens. Could have got the stress. Oh, early in it, you know? Early in it, so... What, um so yeah what do, think, what do you think Stephen would have done if he was have if he actually participated in uh the skit writing contest oh what what i would have done yeah i would have made taha write the whole thing <laughs> yeah he would yeah, yeah no that checks out yeah yeah, yeah. yeah no it'd be funny because right. it'd be like steven starring as taha because taha still would have written like his life story but it just would have been steven playing taha so Precisely. it's just kind of weird Precisely. and, I get it, then one and line he would have taken like, all the credit yeah yeah, he would have taken all the credit. Yeah. 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 And I would have been like, wow, this is really deep. And, you know, <laughs> it would have been something like that. <laughs> yeah. Actually, um, the but... prize was a trip to Dave and Buster for me, but Taha <laughs> won. I didn't. Yeah. And me and Brad would have gone to Dave and Buster's and be like, hey, what about Taha? And I'd be like, no, yeah. let's go. Let's go. Who's Taha? I don't know. Like, I spent 24 yeah. hours with him making this. No, thank you. 48. <laughs> 48, my bad. No, it would have been like, no, the scene would have gone, bro. I'm like, oh, here's the two tickets. And Steve's like, oh, only two? So Todd's not going. Damn, that sucs. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, yeah, most credit that. scene is them at Steven Buster's. Woo! You know? <laughs> yeah. uh, next time we'll make it happen. Yeah. But I mean, that concludes so this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, all the first three episodes of season one are available on our Instagram and our YouTube channel at Kane TV. So go check it out. Thank you for watching.